Hey folks, Quillikin here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization VI. It's the Rise and Fall expansion. We are playing in Scotland on Deity Difficulty here, and currently we're defending against Persia. Uh, not to mention uh, the vassal Hattusa over here, but I think, I think we have held things off, and we should be okay. Go ahead and pin some possible city locations. This is not a city location. I just want to double check what's off the coast here before I figure out exactly where this is going to be. Mostly, it's a reminder that settling somewhere up here would probably be good. One on the, uh, either side of the river. We'll double check that later. And then possibly down here. So yeah, we're mostly defending. We're not building any military units right now. I think we've got everything we need. We're, we're healing the ones we've got mostly up. And we've got, what, just a handful of turns, right, for peace? Four more turns. And I would not be surprised if he came and offered us a whole pile of money. And I think we'd be fine with that because attacking might be a little tricky it might be possible but right now we're still having to tank out a fair bit here uh this archer is actually in a bit of trouble unless of course he's got a promotion waiting for him so we'll do that heal him up and i think he'll be okay and safe uh over here we'll take a shot that way and if we go here we'll take another shot there and not quite finish him off i think i'm gonna run out and do that it's gonna leave them barton empty but i don't think you can one shot it with a heavy chariot Eureka. Still got 20 defense over there. And, oh, right. You are making a go. Hopefully you don't go and plunder anything near Sterling. I'd be slightly annoyed at that. Military dedication bonus triggered. We got a Eureka. Excellent. Wonderful. Everything is good. Yeah, we'll be hard researching state workforce because we got a little bit left to go. Well, we're pro- Hmm. Are we starting? new? No. Well, first of all, how long is the production time for a campus right now? 23 turns because i was talking about getting a slew oh yeah there's um possibly some sort of city location over here somewhere like that um i'm talking about putting out a slew of settlers of course i still want the campus tech yeah probably the slew of settlers is going to be okay i say we could switch out and, and do a campus of some kind but we'll hold off okay so as expected we survive there we're probably gonna have to run back otherwise we will get bopped almost certainly in the next one um, you can move here, and I think you will just fall back to inside the city. Doesn't mean you can't attack, but that's alright. You're gonna rest there. Um, or are you maybe gonna come up here, cause... It should be okay, cause we're only gonna get attacked by one thing, so that should be fine. I'm gonna put you back into the city. And... You are gonna rest there. I know you're not gonna rest quite as much as if you were in a... Where are you? Right over here. Faith. Interesting. I guess we can use that to accelerate a great person whenever we actually get some uh, campuses up. Um, I was going to say something else, and I don't remember what it was. I'm sure it wasn't important. I'm sure nothing I say is important. Germany declared war on Khmer. All right. Well, that's keeping the AI busy. Thump, thump, thump. Whoa! Oh, you sidestepped in the... Wow, the AI figuring out the uh, that attack routine. Um, hmm. I think this archer is fine. I don't suppose you have a promotion new. But if I go here, I can't be attacked because of the difficult terrain. So that's going to be okay. So, four turns to the builder. Or, sorry, the settler. Yeah, let's go ahead and get it started. That's going to be fine. And over here... I don't think we need to worry about ancient walls. I mean, if a Hutusu attacks us again, things could be a little dicey, but not really. So, we're four turns away from making our, our swap to the other policy, but I think this is going to be fine. And you're going to come over here. You can take that spot and actually start healing. That'll be okay. You're going to keep fortifying until healed over here. Um, this trade unit is going to move to Dumbarton and be ready to run a trade route probably back to Sterling. You can go back to Auto Explorer. Another goodie hut. Okay. Excellent stuff. I wouldn't complain if we got maybe some money or... Wow, there's lots of things that would be good, actually. Hell, just a boost to state, work state workforce would be okay. We're going to get the boost to currency very, very, very soon. All right, a little closer to death than I'd hoped, but ultimately okay. Um, Finish him off. I guess you're safe where you are. So you may as well take a shot since you don't need to heal. 
this warrior, we're definitely going to run away. I'll run there because it's actually going to be fairly good for healing. I'm going to move you here and invite an attack. Perfectly okay. You're not on flat land, and I'm on difficult terrain, so you can't reach me. And this trade route, I think we actually could start the trade route to Sterling. Slight risk, but I think we're going to do it. Because I think we've mostly got this tackled. There's the peace request. Um, I'm going to say no for a second here. Huh. I do want to take advantage of you. Oh, you do have a fully healthy chariot there. That's a little less than grand. I mean, I can always make the peace request on my turn as well. Yeah, I may have to. Assuming he'll take it. I should probably move this guy first, actually. I was hoping to get some kills. Could you give me, like, just flat gold? Huh. No? Yeah, but... 300? Huh. 200. 150. 175? 185? Alright, we'll call that good enough. I'm going to take it, because, yeah, I don't think we're going to make any real moves towards him. So, we'll do that. Okay, yep, prudence, sure. Just to make sure the city-states we are, in fact, pieced out with. Excellent. Wonderful. Okay. So in two turns, we'll swap, swap order of colonization. Um, after the granary, we'll also get started on a colonist. We may save the money to buy some tiles. But did we get two Eurekas out of popping that? Well, that's kind of swell. And actually, was that... What? No, that's not what I want to click on. Um, yeah, that's Celestial Navigation. I actually might want to get that before currency. Six and one half dozen to the other. Harbor here, good. Um, um, what's it called? Commercial hub over here, good. Yeah, okay, then we'll just finish currency since it's a little closer up. And actually, this place is going to want to build a campus first. Well, this place might want to build a campus uh, before the commercial building as well. All right, go ahead and fortify until healed. Fortify until healed. We will... I'm going to send you over here. You're going to promote. You are going to fortify until healed. You're going to go back to auto-exploring. Find me some more goody huts in the Arctic. That actually worked out fairly well. Yeah, because our second um, sea resource is a little a while away. Economy. We'll have to wait until it gets pearls. Strong, well okay. We may as well save some money with conscription. And yeah, instead of urban planning, we're going to colonization. We'll probably do a bunch of ilkum soon as well. Now another governor title. I don't think I'm going to get the castellan. I think I'm going to grab the diplomat because we have learned that um, the emissary slash prestige stuff will actually be fairly potent. So we'll grab you for now. We may as well put you in Hattusa for the moment, unless we need the, the uh, loyalty somewhere, because at least you'll give us a few more envoys here, which will make our campuses better. You know, when we've got one. Um, I definitely want to keep one archer parked right behind Dumbarton, because I would expect another attack to come up over there. We are going to spread our troops around a little bit just to uh, hold the areas where we're planning on expanding to. Try to avoid any barbarians. Speaking of barbarians. I guess you moved into a zone of control here. Hopefully you'll be okay. All right, ripped scout. Hey, you found a continent. You saved us a whole turn on our civic. So, I guess you did your job, but not really. We'll have to do some some exploring with boats, I think, is going to be the real thing. We might build another scout, too. Maybe we'll wait until we get our Highlanders and build a few of those. Persia's spreading religion to me, which I'm quite keen on. So, Zoroastrianism, what you got? What do you bring to the party? You bring world wonders, provide faith, synagogues, even more faith. All right. Should we try for the Temple of Artemis? It's an awfully good building. Um... No, ancient walls over here, because I actually expect that they will declare... Oh, no, sorry. Silly me. Not builder, settler. 
Settlers everywhere, but I will want ancient walls over there for sure, 100%. Um, let me move you to here, actually. That's going to be fine. And maybe I'll move you up here for a slightly better vision rather than being in a city. So I'm going to keep you fortified in Dumbarton here because, again, I'm kind of afraid that it's going to be the primary thing. I'm wondering about buying this tile to avoid my land from being cut off. I mean, I'll be able to embark across the sea soon, so it's not really that critical and maybe not the best use of our money. So, yeah, I'm just going to put you on alert over here. This guy might be a little bit stuck. Well, he can walk through the city-state and all the mountains. Da, 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 da. 12 turns, 25 turns, 18 turns. Yeah, the trade route doesn't come out of here. I'll say, why is it a little bit slower? But that would be why. So I'm going to go and move my warrior up here to see what's just off of the point. I guess I can get rid of this marker here. So I'm curious to see if there's a bunch of fish or whatnot. Dun, 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 dun. Wealth consists... Currency... Done! Ooh, error score. Yeah, we need more of that. And uh, Celestial Navigation. So, traders can bark. That's all. It's not all units, but it does give us access to the harbor sooner rather than later, and that'll be good. So, you can go on uh, Alert Mode over here. Some people still don't know what Alert Mode is. Alert Mode is the same as Fortify, except your units will wake up automatically if there's an enemy nearby. Which makes it very convenient for ranged units, because you're always going to want to strike first. So, we both have the, uh, the inspiration, the boost for this, the Eureka and the inspiration. We'll get our government type soon, hopefully. And you can go to alert mode over there. I could maybe, like, get some different focus on some of these people, but I don't think so. We actually might build a second settler in Sterling. It's a little hard to say. Oracle was built. Yeah, I would like to sneak in some wonders here. Let's get this wave of stuff. And then probably we do need to do a wave of campuses. Um, so that, A, well, we can get the tech to actually build wonders. You're going to give me 17 flat gold in exchange for open borders. Sure. That's fine. We're up to 500 gold now. I could go for a builder right now. I think that's what we're going to do in Roxbury. Roxburgh. Roxburgh? Probably Roxburgh. Uh, yeah, we'll still have enough to buy a tile for strategical campus placement of some kind. And they've got a fair amount of tiles to improve over here. Uh, in terms of happiness, we are at least neutral. One plus one in some places. But yeah, if we can boost that up. I don't know if there's anything. Oh, there's a boost to iron, like the sword tech, if we get the iron mine. But let's get the cocoa first. We got priorities here. And chocolate is one of them. Belongs to Scotland. Uh-huh. Blam. Okay, there's more fish over there. So yeah, I'm going to hang back over here just for, like, you know, barbarian busting. Hmm. Seven turns, 18 turns. Yeah, this one wasn't actually speeding that up particularly. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the rice. Here, let's go down here. And then probably the iron for the last one, and that'll be okay. Um, after the settler builds, we'll probably have to go to Ilkham and get a whole bunch of builders. Uh, or campuses. Let's go ahead and start a campus in the capital. So I'm going to buy this tile because that's where I'm going to want it. I mean, it is adjacent to two um, cattle places, which might mean like a Great Zimbabwe or something, but that's that's much later down. There's the Great Library. And we're going to get that going on. And that's, that's a little harsh on the loyalty. And very, very, very vulnerable to attacks. I mean, I do think it's a great spot for a city. And we could change the policy where we can get plus two loyalty from having a garrison there. And we can get plus two from having a um, a governor. But the problem is we're still Dark Age. And that's going to be a bit of trouble. I'm going to go ahead and not settle there, apparently. Uh, I don't think I want to settle right on the rice. Although, and then all of a sudden we've got loyalty problems. Hello, that is... I did not realize that was too close over here. Damn. I think we'll come back to that. Maybe I will go and do the forward settle. If we get a bit more population in these two cities, then we will get a little bit more loyalty. Maybe I'll hold off over... I'll go over here first, after all. I think it's going to be this one. We still have access to all the tiles. We might lose the um, the deer to Hutusa as it expands, but I don't think that's a big deal. Uh, we do get more mountain tiles, which are useless over here. That is the one downside. 
Um, I guess if we went here, we'd still get this tile to build the campus, but it would be a lot harder to expand to. I think I'm just going to go here. Yeah, it's a little bit more conservative, but I think that's okay. Yeah, so you chill out over there. You're going to denounce me. I'm sure you're going to be going to war again with me at some point. And yeah, we won't quite have walls up by then. Well, you know what? Nah, it's still a loyalty problem, so I don't know what we're going to do with a third settler. Well, we're going to sort of hope that we have a little bit more population over here, I guess. Or something like that. Mm -hmm. Screw it. Let's go. Uh, if we quickly build a monument, it'd be nice if we could buy a monument. And yeah, we can change Set our policy. Your course by the star. We'll get a unit up here so that we can start with the... Um, um, we can swap to the loyalty thing from having a garrison. It'll probably be okay. We could start on iron working, because we will go and pop this iron mine soon. Um, it's not terribly critical by itself. I think, if anything, yeah, there's some value because we can get over to machinery. That I think that's the thing to do, is beeline towards machinery. So that'll work out well. We've already got the boost to engineering. We might even build a couple of catapults. I think with a couple of catapults and upgrading our archers to crossbows, over, and then the next time there's the a war, possible. we think we could be pushing pretty effectively. So, oh yeah, we gotta change government first. Um, hmm. I think the Classical Republic would actually be quite good. We don't have the districts yet. And then maybe switch to oligarchy when the war starts. I think that's gonna be fine. Uh, setting the government will give us um, age points. So we still need to run colonization. We'll probably go for urban planning. There, there's something to be said about money for caravanseries, but we only have the one. This will boost that production a little bit. We'll uh, we'll get some extra influence points. And then for our wildcard slot, we're obviously settling right now. We don't have holy sites. I think what we can do is just put in some other policy over here. I don't know if we're about to buy any more land. I'm not sure about that. I'm thinking conscription. Oh, right, no, we have to we have to run the Limitani. That's true, actually. So I might want to get an actual uh, policy slot. Um, okay, thank you. Showed me that twice. But yeah, we have to run it here so that we can get the extra loyalty. Um, those are Persian Immortals. How screwed am I? Probably fairly screwed. Mysticism, mind that, get another boost, which is all era points, will at least be in a normal age in the next era. Hmm. Yeah, we can't really start a monument right away, we're going to have to start with walls immediately. Huh. Maybe signing my death warrant here, but I mean, we we got it. We got to make some moves, right? Oh, you have no turns left. We got to make some kind of move. You just stay there for a second. I don't know where he's going to another city state, not Hattusa, because he's on your side. I like to say I practice I military and ten decision. turns. I don't think we'll be I able to get to a um a uh, whatever fancy age. Should I switch governments? You know what? Let's do it. I'm going to switch to Oligarchy now, because I'm betting we're going to need it. Then I can put you here, and I can put the Inspiration down here. Uh, and we've got to keep running Colonization for a little bit longer. It's going to save us more points overall. Yeah. Did we get... I don't know if we got points for that. Nope. Boom. So, we are going to move uh, the Castellan. Since you don't actually give any extra... Uh, loyalty. Oh yeah, it's 8 per turn. I think I forgot that it was 8 per turn. I just didn't think they gave a lot less. So we don't actually need to run that policy. I think I was thinking... I was remembering the plus 2 that the Envoy provides, like, in a radius. 
And I was thinking the two is what they do, but they give eight. And they give that instantly as well. You don't have to wait. Um, actually, you pull back there. You go in the city. That'll work well. We'll go ahead and just pick up military tradition. That's fine. You have to start with ancient walls. Have to, have to. And we've got an envoy. We can go there. A couple more points. Well, actually, one more point, and we break the uh, relationship over here, which is going to be wonderful. So you get a few more bucks. You're working on your campus. Yeah, everything's going to start working on a campus soon. So yeah, the loyalty here is going to be through the roof. Is that the war declaration? Oh, no, we have open borders. Uh, I will look elsewhere in the future. I'm not planning on forwarding settling you any more than that. Immortals are swordmen. Ranged swordsmen, right? That is not healthy for me. That's really not healthy for me. Okay, religious conversions. You hate me. Is there anything like... Yeah, all unknown reasons. Like, it'd be nice if we could get you to like me instead, but I don't think that's going to happen. The only question is, how long is our peace deal? No great people, vaguely close. I mean, we haven't been generating any points. The longer we can be at peace, though, the better, because I want to just spam out holy sites. It might be nice to buy the uh, sheep here, actually. Since I can't really buy a military unit, I mean, 46, I'm going to get that before it goes to Hattusa. Because that's going to be a really good addition to Haddington. Pyramids are done. Classical era ending soon. Do I build a campus here? You know what? I am going to delay the campus here. I'm going to go straight into Builder. And we're going to be changing to the Builder Booster. So there you go. That'll break the Suzerain ship. Which makes me feel a heck of a lot safer. And I'm going to send you up over here. That will get the fish and everything. doesn't really matter. Well, this actually is the best, pl better place for a harbor because we can build a genius harbor right over there. So that's going to be nice. Hattusa made... Be oh, are you at war with Germany? Oh, well, heck. Why are all your troops over here? If you're at war with Germany. Ooh. Ooh. Target Barbarossa. Must capture specific cities. We can join the emergency. Target units have minus two combat strength. Member units plus one movement. Uh, win or lose. Need to capture specific cities within 40 turns. I wonder if I should just join in to split the pot. There's too many participants. Although, on the other hand, that should mean it's fairly easy, right? Oh, these are the possible participants, but I'm not... Because I, I haven't joined yet, so they may not join. I, Bravery. No. We'll just say no, because I'm not... I'm too far to get in there. You're afraid. Great person. Oh, yeah, so I'm going to make a bit of a change. Uh, Hold on a sec. Six. Yeah, we've only got one settler being made now. Uh, Maybe it's too early for Ilkum. When's, when's our next policy coming in? Very far away. Yeah, okay. I'm going to switch to Ilkum. It's going to take a while. We're swapping the 50% bonus from here to a 30% bonus from here. But when these two finish, they'll also start on Builders. And I think that's going to be worthwhile. Haddonkin, what tile are you working? Probably just pure growth tile. This over here. Um, The money is good, don't get me wrong. But why don't you go ahead and work the sheep instead? For presumably faster growth. Yeah, four turns instead of six. And the, uh, the, the city panel bar doesn't update instantly. Germany's been targeted declaration more by Hattusa. Oh, you must have gotten them back again. Which is kind of annoying. Especially because every time someone invests an envoy over here, it does pick up extra tiles and stuff over time from doing that. I don't know if it's a one-to-one -one ratio or not, but that's the idea. Is investing in a city-state allows it to grow. Temple of Artemis would have been nice, but... I think that we wouldn't have had time to finish it if I had started it when I saw it. Plus, I think the Settler Spam is a good idea. Classical Era ends in two turns. So yeah, we're just going to have a normal era as opposed to a heroic era, which is too bad. So 
swordsmen over here. We, we will need to invest in more military soon, but I mean, mostly we're going to invest in it via technology, which hopefully we'll be able to increase the rate of getting soon. All right, normal age. I think we're going to keep uh, free inquiry here. Although, you know what? We might not get as many. No, no, we're still going to do this because we'll get some Eurekas and we're going to be building One science man's... buildings. Like, I thought about going monumentality for the districts, but we'll be okay. So everything's a little brighter now because we're not in a dark era. Not golden age. But at least not in a. Uh, Everything a dark has age. its limit. So let's go ahead and yeah, we'll build here. It's gonna be fine. And we got the natural wonder site over here. And maybe we could have prioritized getting it sooner for the inspiration boost, but I don't know. So I don't think we have to keep the warrior up here. We will want to upgrade you. Actually, I think that's fine to do now. Because professional army is. Yeah, it's over here. Let's do that. And actually, we should take a moment to take a look at our military strength rating over here. We have a 145. Persia has a 140. Three. 252. You know, our military score is fine. I think a lot of units have been killed in the recent warfare, which is good news for us. I think Dundee is going to start instantly with a harbor. Help, help get our money flowing a lot more, which is going to be great. I mean, obviously, we're going to need, you know, campuses and all that stuff, too. Well, need, want. Yeah, both. Both need and want that. Um, we might go and pump out a few more units to see if we can get uh, mercenaries accelerated in time to upgrade our archers. That may or may not be possible. Which is an empty statement. <laughs> this is true of everything. It may or may not be possible. I guess it's just a way of saying there's, there's I'm not sure about it. Okay, you've got that, you've got that. Harbor's not a priority the same way. We are going to go and slap down a campus here, even though it's not going to be the world's greatest campus in the long run. Maybe we'll keep the rainforest there. Probably we'll end up chopping and clearing it. Um, so it's not going to get much in the way of adjacency bonuses, but we'll be able to get libraries and, and all that kind of jazz going on. And um, we, can, we could finally go and do the stone over here, which isn't a terrible idea. I think I'm going to start by going south, and we will go ahead and just build a farm here camp this up, and then go ahead and mine or quarry up the stone, and that's going to be okay. We might want to start a builder here, but I think starting on a district right away is going to be fine. It is a little bit unfortunate the harbor produces great admiral points instead of merchant points. I, I, I do think it's probably important for game balance that it's like that, but it is a little bit annoying. Uh, I would love, you know, districts. I would love ancient walls here. The water mill is also really good. I think it's probably the, the best way to accelerate the growth of our thing, of our empire, is to get some uh, colonists or some builders out. Um, I am going to build on the coast here just for, because it's got potential for a good harbor. I mean, we could just go for a, um, uh, um, a commercial hub, but I think I'm going to go here, probably lay down the harbor right over there or there, either one. And then we're pretty close for like campusy stuff or, or whatever. Uh, so we got that. We'll set up the camp as well. We're not looking to do any swap outs right now because we're a little fur fur? A little fur away from actually being able to manage a wonder. So we'll do that. Uh, I kind of feel like we do want to go right up to a library, but while we've got Ilkum running, let's get um, a few more builders. What we'll probably do is switch out of Ilkum when Drama and Poetry finishes, or even then, I'm not sure. I mean, everyone, you're building campuses. Yeah, that, that'll line up kind of okay. I don't know what we'll replace with. Probably just plus one production in general is going to be fine. Cyrus, okay. Persia and Germany are not peace, so there might be some more nonsense starting over here. Um, and really the only concern with that is Haddington maybe not being able to defend itself. Um, and actually, well, the Martins got walls now, so it's a little bit better off. If we got a unit in there. Yeah, it's funny the military strength difference between these things. And we are working our way up to machinery in 13 turns here. And our gold income's not huge, but we should be able to upgrade at least one unit to a crossbow when that comes up. So, yeah, I'm I'm feeling generally okay about our defensive position. If we can get all these districts up, then that'll be good. I mean, the builders are just as important as a district, in a sense, because we want to make sure all of our units of population are working the best tiles and the most developed tiles they possibly can. But we do need to get the science up and the great people points up soon, especially with who we are playing, but we are we are starting to work on that. Uh, what do we need to actually, it's apprenticeship over here. That's probably what we'll queue up after that. We do have the boost to horseback riding, which is good. Three mines, we should be able to swing. We've got one over here. Um, 
Yeah, we'll probably just make an effort. In fact, in Roxburgh here, what I might do is do chop mine, mine, or something like that, just to complete that. Plus, we'll accelerate something else, which is going to be nice. It'll boost apprenticeship, and then we can get our industrial zone soon. Uh, this, for example, is going to be a wonderful industrial zone. I don't think that Hatusu is going to grab it, because um, I don't know where that pin was. Because um, almost certainly they'll be going for, you know, the deer or the crabs or something like that. Uh, but we're going to want an industrial zone right there. Uh, over here, is this a hill? No, it's flat. Yeah, we, we don't have a lot of hills going on here. So that's not there. We'll have to consider some placement. I guess I can bring this archer back. That would probably be a good idea. Let me get you back behind Dumbarton here, just to hold on to that. Um, I don't know how we're going to place all of our industrial zones in this particular map. We might be a little lighter on that than we would prefer. I think whatever city ends up being here, we might build another one right there, actually. I can kind of see that happening. So, this is the industrial zone for Roxburgh. And this will be the industrial zone for whatever this town over here is. Alright, folks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.